Greetings, my YouTubers. <laughs> hey, everybody. We are on the way to Wallawa Lake. It is near the town we're in now. It's actually on the same part of the same stretch of road we took when we drove the scenic byway. We didn't have time to stop that day. Yeah, so if you remember from our scenic byway video we put out last, we stopped in the town of Enterprise and showed you the courthouse. Well, we're actually now camping at Enterprise at an RV park there. But today we are driving just a little past the town of Joseph, which is just down the road, to go to Wallawa Lake and, and check all that out. Yeah. It's very hazy today, so our views will be partially obstructed by smoke. So it's kind of nice to go to something like a lake where you don't have to see so far in the distance to the horizon because the views around here are very smoky due to the wildfires that are happening across the mountain range a little bit to the west of us. Yeah, sadly the west coast is really on fire right now. There are large fires in California and in Oregon. And uh, for us directly, we're impacted by all the smoke haze that's here. It seems to be following us, and unfortunately, it seems to be getting worse as well. The mountains here in this area are look gorgeous. I mean, we're just surrounded by these big mountains, but unfortunately, it's very, very hazy. Uh, some of the peaks are even obscured by the smoke. Um, so that's unfortunate. So hopefully, those fires can get under control soon. Uh, so that everyone impacted is uh, doing doing better because that's pretty scary stuff. But as Jess said, we're gonna head up to Wallawa Lake where we can get right up to the lake and not have any sort of obstructive view or anything like that and, and see what that's like and maybe Abby can chomp another lake. <laughs> Well, we have arrived at Wallawa Lake State Park and already just, I know I say this all the time, but wow, <laughs> it is just beautiful. It is surrounded by the high mountains. There's pine trees up all on the mountains. There's this lovely large river stream coming from the mountains to feed into the lake. And already, like Abby's still in the truck. She's, she's not out yet, and I know she is going to love this distance vision is a little bit obscured like of the mountains and things around us with the smoke but you can't really smell the smoke or anything so it's not really affecting our enjoyment of the park here which is nice yeah it's not too bad you know you can still see it's just like there's a haze over the mountains because we're closer now it's not as bad as when we're trying to view them from really far off but there is a little bit but it definitely is not robbing us of enjoying this absolutely stunning spot and, and this is just the first spot we stopped at so who knows what else we'll find out here Some cold water. Yeah. Cold man. Come 
we're at the lake, the Wallawa Lake. You can see over my shoulder there's some other people here enjoying it also. Give you a little view over there. <laughs> yeah, it's a large lake. There's um, not very many motorized boats out there. I think I saw one or two, but there are several people playing here at the beach. We see some paddle boarders, some kayakers out there. But it's really gorgeous. It's funny because this lake is sort of nestled in this little nook of the mountains. So looking that way, it's like back towards the road, back towards town. But the way we're facing and when you drive in, it's just like the lake with this U of mountains around it. And it's just insanely beautiful. Um, all the little streams are, you know, snow melt coming off the mountains, feeding into the lake. So it's very, very cool. It's easy to get, it's easy to get down here. It's all paved. Really there's easy. big paved parking lots up here. There's bathrooms. This is a big, big state park. Pretty good sized one. There's an RV campground here, but we couldn't get in it because we didn't have reservations. So we stayed at the one we're at now. Yeah, the state parks, just a tip for anyone wanting to come out here, the state parks book up well, well, well in advance. I mean, pretty much everywhere, even in Colorado, we looked around and uh, you have to book well in advance for a state park stay, unless you're willing to dry camp. Some of the state parks do have dry camping spots that are first come, first serve, and depending on how popular the area is, you might be able to get one of those. But any sort of hookup at a state park, you got to book those pretty well in advance, especially yeah. up here in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, if there's one you really want to stay at, make sure you book it in advance and route your travels to be there at the right time. Yeah, the good news is though, that there's usually always tons of parks outside of the state parks you can stay at like we've done today and we just drove in and we're able to come out here and hang out and, you know, vacation if we want it to. We're kind of sightseeing right now, but certainly you could come down here and hang out on, on the beach of the lake and just really enjoy this area. Hey guys, well, we left Wallawa Lake area and that state park and headed south West. or north west west to okay. lostine <laughs> whatever direction yeah we headed to lostine and then turned off a road and headed up into the wallawa forest up here yeah this is uh, straight south of lostine oregon took a dirt road i love dirt roads and i cannot lie because <laughs> they lead to beautiful spots like this a lot of times and we are here at a little just a little pull off off the dirt road and the beautiful river behind us and then there's a little bridge also there i think that's the road we probably will head on the dirt yeah. road that takes you over the river here and uh what a beautiful spot it is out here yeah it's beautiful out here there's some flies we're gonna have to go put our bug spray on mm -hmm. and then we'll bring abby down and let her look at the river too yeah No overnight camping, fire restrictions. It's very dry here still. Right in the middle of this valley, right between these mountains. We have our adventure gear on <laughs> because we're going to go on a trail here and see if we can make it out to a lake. 
it's uh it's going to be sketchy depending on the difficulty of the trail as to whether we make it before it gets close to dark or not and we don't want to be out here after dark yeah we got out here a little bit late it's 4 30 already in the afternoon so we're going to just start hiking out on this trail see how far we get uh if it starts getting dark or you know maybe we get tired i don't know we'll turn around but we'll see yeah. how far we can go and have a nice little hike through the woods here yeah we have our bear spray and yes, we're ready we in case spray. something comes up mom we, got... we have bear spray <laughs> <laughs> and we got the uh the little wild animal with us too so maybe she will scare some things off yes yeah, so we have the wild abby with us so maybe she can tromp around and alert all the wildlife that we're here <laughs> even if we don't make it to the lake we'll get some beautiful views on the way for sure Well, if we look tired, it's because we are. We're hiking on this trail. It's been all uphill from the start. Yeah. And we're a little out of shape. We're way out. This is beyond our fitness level. Yes. It's not a bad trail. It's just very steep. And uh, we hit the first major switchback, and we see a big stretch of more yeah. going straight uphill. So yeah, it's a lot we're not ready climbing. for this yet. No, we're, we're a little out of shape, which we knew. And that was one of the things with this lifestyle, we are looking forward to doing more hiking and getting in better shape. So we'll have to ease into it. We're easing into it. We haven't quite gone a mile. I think we've gone a little over half a mile or so of all yeah. uphill. And uh, I think that's going to about to be as far as we go. We'll start heading back. We also saw bear poop. Yes, so we saw bear poop. We have our bear spray, but that's also a little out of our comfort zone, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're t we're trying to talk and everything because they say to talk to let wildlife know you're nearby so that they'll hopefully leave you alone. Um, but yeah, it's it's beautiful out here and it's all shaded, yeah. which is really nice. And the trail is good. It's just this is probably a moderate rated trail, I would guess. And we're beginners. Well, also this trail for us would be an all day hike. Yeah. Just to get to the lake and back and uh yeah. we started kind of late so we'd be in the dark coming back which wouldn't yeah. be safe at all the lake is five miles out so it's actually a straight line about eight tenths of a mile but it's five miles on the trail switch because yeah. there's so switchbacks and elevation change yeah that you're going back and forth wandering yeah. back and forth so it's it's cool. It's been it's fun out here. So we're gonna hike a little bit more, but probably gonna wrap it up and uh, try again another day. Yeah. All right. Well, we have wrapped up our time in the Wallawa Whitman National Forest. That was the Eagle Cap. Is that what you said? Yeah, the Eagle Cap Wilderness Area. Eagle Cap Wilderness Area. It was awesome up there. Uh, there's a lot of trails. There are some small campgrounds. Uh, nothing big is going to fit up there, but um, maybe very tiny trailer. We saw some little pop-up campers going in there, um, and, and definitely tent camping and vehicle camping uh, would work in there, but cool we did, place. We did see one Class A in there. I don't know how they got it in there or how easy it came in or out. We saw one Class A. What? Do you remember that? No, uh, yeah, it was on the right. Well, I guess I should watch the road. <laughs> Please watch the road. Uh, it was on the right when we were going in in one of the little camp areas, but it it's probably the only spot in there you could fit one, and it would have been a challenge probably getting it in there. Yeah, I would not recommend taking anything more than a small travel trailer or something up there, but um, definitely for a day trip, awesome place. When you it's several miles in but you eventually get to a nice parking lot and day use area for where all the trail or well one of the big trailheads is at which is what we took um so super nice it's a gravel road going in but it's pretty pretty nice it's wide yeah it's it's pretty wide and um pretty well maintained we there weren't a ton of people out there but there definitely were people out there i think we probably saw about a dozen cars in all at the at the trailhead we parked at there were about eight or nine cars probably parked there yeah so you can actually park at the trailhead and you pay for how many days you leave your car there and we saw some cars that people were going out for three or four days to camp uh, to hike do all the hiking and then camp while they were out there and come back so that's pretty neat um, but we had fun we 
learned a little bit about our fitness level. Yeah, we <laughs> had a reality is, check on we, our fitness level. We had a serious reality check. But, I mean, like, we weren't under any uh, illusions that we are in very good shape. And that's one of the things that we're hoping to continue working on, why we're doing this RV lifestyle, be more active, and get into better shape. Abby had a blast. She had a very good time on the trail. She got to splash in a lot of water today. So I think we checked all her boxes for a good day. And uh, we checked all of our boxes, I think, for a good day, too. It was a lot of fun. So you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button for us because it helps us out a lot. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those as well. We are nearing triple digits on subscribers <laughs> we're, we're getting close yeah we're getting yeah. close maybe we'll have a little celebration if we get 100 subscribers <laughs> we'll see anyways you guys have a good one and we'll see you next time thanks for watching